Hey quilters, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I am Erica, AccuQuilts Corporate Marketing Specialist. And welcome to our trunk show. It's called Five, Four, Three, Two, One. Today, and Erica and I will be helping you count down to the new year with ideas for finishing your UFOs or unfinished objects. That's now right. listen, if you don't have UFOs, you all do. You all do. Yeah. <laughs> As quilters, we all have plenty of projects that we start and leave behind along the way. So hopefully, this show is going to give you some new tips and tricks to get your UFOs finished. And as always, we've planned a lot of fun with great prizes, exciting project ideas, an inspirational trunk show, and a special deal for you today. That is right. Okay, now before we go any further, we have a special deal for everyone. Now, um, over the weekend, we experienced some technical issues on our site yesterday. So we are honoring yesterday's promo code today. Yep. Use the promo code EXTRA30, E-X-T-R-A-3-0, to get an additional 30% off your order. Using the code will save you up to 45% on dies and up to 55% on cutters. Some exclusions apply, check the website for details. That's right, and for those of you in the contiguous US, you'll get free standard shipping when you place your order today. No price minimum or code is needed at checkout for that. And Quilters, this offer is only good now through midnight, so get your order in before what you're looking for is sold out. Now, to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture this QR image. Go right to the site. If you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Go to the top of the page, and on that uh, very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party to um, place your order. It'll take you directly to the site. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. Now we have made holiday shopping easy and worry-free. Review our holiday guarantee and return policy on our website by visiting our return page. And with global supply chain issues happening at this time, and apparently weather in Seattle, there was yes, snow in Seattle. Yes, lots of it. Yep, be sure to make your purchases while everything is in stock. Karen in Oregon had eight inches. She yes. measured it with her her AccuQuilt Accu 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 ruler like a yep. good quilter should. Yep. There you go. You can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator located at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. Okay, quilters, let's talk unfinished objects, Whew. also known as UFOs. So this is a safe space. It is. We can admit. We all have them, right? We, that's right, we all do. And so let's talk about how this happens and look at some of the different stages of UFOs because right. all UFOs are not treated the same. Right. And all of them are from our AccuQuilt team, <laughs> though most of them are from <laughs> Pam Heller. I could have brought more. So yes. how about those quilts that are all done except the binding, Pam Heller? Okay, yes, that's me, all right? And here, here I don't know why, Erica, but I get to that point yep. and it's all done. So I brought one that yes. you just were telling me. Just uh, you in really a few need minutes. to finish this, it's beautiful. It is, it's beautiful. So this is a project that I've done. It's quilted quilters, okay, and it's so fun. And all it needed was a binding. So I was feeling really guilty. So yesterday, I've, I've been did sick all weekend, yes. but I did sew a binding on it. Well, and good. luckily I found some fabric, yeah. right, to match it. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, but binding is kind of a big deal, right? And, right. And I feel like sometimes you just get to that point and you're just like, oh, now I need some binding. Yep. Okay, yep. and cutting binding is really hard. But we are gonna show you how to do it with our two and a half inch strip. That is right, because there is no excuse not for cutting your binding when you can cut an entire queen size binding in just one pass through the cutter, right? That's right. All right, so let's talk about this strip die. All right. All right, so this is our two and a half inch strip die. It is hands down our most popular die Absolutely. of all. Absolutely, and we of, can't do without it. Right? So it has four blades, one, two, three, four. No blades down here, no blades down here. Right. Right, so right. that way you can get your whole width of fabric. And these are just screen printed angled guidelines. And these are gonna allow you to do some fun things with those strips, but there are no blades underneath those guidelines. Nope. And I know that confuses a lot of people when they first see the yeah, die. So we're gonna cut some. Now, we always tell you lengthwise grain going lengthwise through the cutter, but that rule does not apply with your strip not. die because there are no crosswise blades. So the blades are actually designed to cut 
those with the fabric strips for you for your binding. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it down here so you can see. Yep. So here's the fold. Do you want it parallel to this black line? Mm -hmm. This tells you that's where the blades end. Yes. Sometimes quilters line it up here and then it's gonna stop cutting here and here and here and yep. here. And you're gonna have hula skirts. Yes. Okay. So the magic equation is the dye, the fabric, and a mat. Right. And all three have to be together to get your cut. And we measured a quarter of an inch on either side mm -hmm. and you rough cut eight inches of I fabric. I did. And Erica, you cut off the um, salvage. I cut off them. the salvage edges because that's Pam's trick because you're gonna cut them off anyway, right? Yeah. That's what she always tells me. So we're using our Go Big today, how come? Because we can. Because we can and I feel like it's on <laughs> sale today. It is on sale. You can use that extra 30 and get a great price on it. Yeah. And really, it. why not if you can do it as we like to say, go big or go home. Yeah. And yesterday when I was sewing strips, um, it's just so easy. And we're going to show them a super cool trick about how yes, to do Yes, we that. are. So we're going to give it some love. Slide that mat. Don't lift. So since our dies will cut up to six layers at a time, right. that would be uh, nine strips. That is your, like we said, your queen size binding. Right. And all these strips are perfect. Um, the ends are perfect. But here in the middle, look, there's no mountain in the middle. You call that a dipsy, dipsy doodle. doodle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Yep. All right, so we're gonna keep these strips because we're gonna show them how to we're cut do some fun things some other with them later in a yep, few minutes. Absolutely. All right, but there are other stages of UFOs, right? Right. Like the ones where you have all the blocks made. <laughs> Listen, but it's a safe space, but haven't decided on how to lay them out or how to sew them together, right? That's right, that's right. Or what about the ones where you have the blocks sewn into rows? Right. You haven't sewn the rows together. And that can be, you know, that can be hard. You want need to get them in the right order. Maybe you right. got them out of order along the way. Maybe right. you just need some space to lay them out. And right. You don't have space. Right. Right. So one of the things we can cut are cornerstones and sashing. Right. right. Okay. So we're going to show you how to cut squares. We're going to just take one of these um, strips here. Now we have 18 sizes of strips. So this works. Yes. Um, strip dye magic works on all sizes. All of sizes the same way. Um, we have one multi-strip die that this doesn't work on, but right. single strip, single size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our folded edge and we're gonna line it here where it says 90 degrees. Right. And we wanna make sure the fold goes past the blade. Mm -hmm. Erica, when we talk about fan folding, this is what we're talking about, right? It's right? that back and forth action. Right. Now, some people will say, oh, Pam and Erica, that's silly, I could just cut those squares. But then what you're gonna do is take your clear plastic ruler and do another row here. Right. And all the, start right here. Yep. 146. Line them all up. 146 squares, one pass yep. through the cutter. You cannot beat that, and you can't do faster than that by hand. No, and that's the thing, right, is that I think sometimes we think, oh, we're not doing binding or sashing because you have to cut those strips. We've got things to do, quilters. We've got USOs to finish. We need to save the time as much as we can, right? We do. We, we do. have got UFOs to finish. This is, you know, coming up in January, I always think we all get inspired kind of to do that. Um, Finishing a UFO is a great way to start the new year, too, yes. I think. Yes, and we have some other tips for you. Okay, give us some love. Slide this mat, don't lift. Erica, show everybody okay, our let's squares for days. All right, here we go. We've got these. Look at this stack of squares we just stuck. And these could all be used as cornerstones. They right. could be used, you know, just to help you finish that. You could use a bunch of squares. One of the quilts we have uses a bunch of squares for a border. Right, and that's the thing too, right, is if you're looking for ways to do that, those squares are gonna be perfect. Absolutely, All right. okay. Now, maybe you've got to this point and you decided there's something that just doesn't feel right about the project, like fabric choices, the design, or whatever. So think about ways to change it up. Maybe try, try trying, laying it out and taking a picture with your phone. I know it sounds silly, but when you take the picture of it and then look at the picture on the phone, it's gonna look different to you, I promise. It does, it does. It really does. And sometimes it's easier to tell what the quilt is really gonna look like when you do it that way because you, you're that step away from it. Right. And try some different things like setting those blocks on point. Yes. Right? All of our setting triangles are included in that sale today. Right. So make sure you're getting setting points or adding sashing or again, cornerstones. That's right. So many ways. That's right, and we have all the dyes to help you with those things to change the look of the quilt, help you fall in love all over again. Right. 
I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Okay, she's gonna sneeze. Maybe you wanna add some borders. Now borders can be kind of daunting. You have to lay them out, you have to measure your quilt, you have to cut them out. Strip dies come to the rescue again because we've got 18 different sizes, just like Pam mentioned. Yes. They go from widths of one inch all the way up to six and a half inches. And I, I okay, you and I talk about this all the time, how we use strip dies all the time. All the time. All the time. And sometimes I'll look at a block and I'll think, oh, you know, I'm gonna add a little sashing to it yeah. or, or however it needs, or sometimes I need a really wide border. Right. Okay. And with a great sale like this today, it's a great time to add on to them because I guarantee the width you're going to want is one you don't have. So yes. just get them all. Yes. <laughs> all right. And we have other reasons for UFOs, That's right? That's right. So whatever the reason might be, the key is to find a way to finish that project because let's face it, finishing things feels great. It does. But it also opens up our creativity and our little quilting brains and then we can start fun new projects, right. right? Right, and I feel like that's something that's important to think about, right? Is because sometimes they think, oh, we're so overwhelmed with our UFOs right. that we're not ready that to we start don't. new projects. And let's face Those, it, we always want an excuse to buy fabric. We do, we okay. do. So quilters, don't forget about the special offer that we have for you today. Like I said about those strip dies. Until midnight tonight, get 30% off by using the code EXTRA30, EXTRA30. The code will save you up to 45% on dies and up to 55% on cutters. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for details. That's such a great deal. It is. I mean, I just think of, you know, cutters and cubes, mm. right? And how you can Absolutely. use a variety of cubes. We're gonna show you our 12 inch cube here in a yeah. minute. And don't forget, you'll get free standard shipping when you place your orders today. If you live in the contiguous US, yep. no code or price minimum is needed for checkout. That's right, okay. Well, remember when I said this was a safe space? Well, we're about ready to open up and share some of our UFOs with you, yes. some more UFOs with yes. you, and talk about what's holding us up. Okay, so see, I'm taking a breath because this was, okay. next one is mine. Um, yep. Hold on, I'm finding them. Yep. Here we go. And it's oh, made with right the here. Arkansas Traveler die. Yep. So here's the Arkansas Traveler die. Yep. Let's talk about this, because this yeah. actually truly is one of my all-time favorite dies. It is. It cuts those diamond shapes, it cuts the outside, the B and the BR, and then this um, triangle. Yes. And it fits through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. Yes. And it's on sale today. So it's considered part of that um, extra 30. You know, and it's one I really want to get. Okay, so this is a project, Barbara Harper, who is one of our educators. And so create, smart. So, so smart. She created this pattern for us, okay? And so normally in the Arkansas Traveler, this is the part that you right. focus this, on. You really do. Right, but this pattern creates negative space. Yes. So where these meet together, that is the new this, space. The star. And I have loved creates. putting this together. Mm -hmm. Here's, here's my confession. Quilting confession, we should make a hashtag. Quilting, Quilting confessions. confessions. Um, when I started this project, I wasn't really sure how big I wanted it to be. Right. So I cut most of the pieces. Okay. Okay, that's so dumb. Because we can cut pieces 90% faster than rotary cutters or scissors. So I should have cut it's so all easy. Cut pieces. them all at Cut right? them all, Pam. And then I had to come back and cut some more pieces right? and to sew them all together. So my big tip is with AccuQuilt, it's gonna be accurate every single time. Cut all the pieces. Cut all the pieces. You know what, and I really like doing that. I like doing that because then it's like I've made my own kit. Right. And I'm ready to sit down and sew. You know, if you got 15 minutes, you can sit and work on some right. of your diamonds. Right. Or, or put some of your box together, yeah. your half done box together. Yes, there. and I, I'm like two thirds of the way done with this quilt, but again, I, I had to stop because <laughs> I didn't have all my pieces cut. Well, the next one we want to share is from our own Lynn Gibney. Yes. And she shared this UFO with us, made with the Morning Star die. Okay, hands and down my favorite die. We're gonna look at die. the die, but we have to show you this we quilt. We have to show because you this quilt. Okay, I'm we gonna just, hold it. And well, we'll it takes back. two of us, yeah. Yes. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, so okay. we're gonna just hold it at an angle here. Yep. So this is Lynn, she made it with a morning star and it's absolutely gorgeous because she used scraps from every quilt she's ever made. Isn't that amazing? To make it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, and we're gonna show the back because we are. did this. And so every seam is pressed open Every perfectly. single one is perfect. I mean. Yeah, it's just She fabulous. is our quilting perfectionist. Right. Here. So let's show you this um, die. 
Because you think it's kind of complicated, but it's, it's not. It's not, there's two basic shapes. So we've got our shape A, which are our isosceles triangles, and then our shape Bs, which are the corners of those blocks. Yep. And basically you're using these to build bigger versions. So right. you're putting them together to build little pyramids. Right. And then you're putting them together with those corner pieces. And you're gonna wanna follow the instructions on how to put your block together yes. because there is a way. There to is, put it and together. you do want to press your seams open just like Lynn did. Right. Because really, it yeah. is it is gonna reduce the bulk and make it better. But again, this is a perfect example of Gosh, use your extra fabric to create a new project, yes. right? Yes, yeah, Finish right. Finish up those UFOs and do that. But Lynn is kind of stalled on what backing fabric she's yep. gonna use, which is a very common reason for quilting progress. Isn't it, Erica? My name is Erica, I have commitment issues. You do. I have trouble picking out my backings. And it, it it's a big commitment, right? right? I mean, especially if you're talking a king or a queen size quilt, that's a lot right. of fabric. Do you want it to be cotton? Do you want it to be mm -hmm. flannel? Cuddle. Do you want it to be cuddle from Shannon? Right. It's a big choice and it's a big choice beyond just color and design or even having enough fabric. Right, so here is our pro tip. Hit your scraps from the front of your quilt to make your backing. Yep. And I love this, because whoever said your backing had to just be a plain right. piece of fabric. Right. Right? And we don't whoever think about said that. it could be scrappy, that is the person I want to meet. Yes. So sometimes they have extra blocks left over that we could use from the back. Right, and you can extend your fabric too. So get creative, see what you have, challenge yourself to make it work. Maybe some nice chunky strip dies, like oh, yes. four yeah. inch are the five inch yeah, and we've got right those. So the four inch cut strip die would finish at three and a yeah. half. We'll that would be side. a lot of times that's about the size that I have left because I mm -hmm. usually over buy my fabric. Right. And so this is about the size that I would have left. It would be a great way to extend my backing right. fabric. And just like we did with those cornerstones, you cut your strips, turn them at 90 degrees. And cut squares and, cut and squares. put them together. Yep. Or if you've got a little bit more fabric, maybe you use the one that cuts at five inches. That's gonna finish at four and a half. And again, maybe it's just that little extra that you need size-wise to finish your fabric off. Right. Okay? So think about those bigger dies, four inch, five inch, right. six inch, okay? Or grab your 12 inch cube, which I'm gonna That's grab right, right we're gonna grab that right now. Because shape number one in our 12 inch cube makes a six inch finished square. <laughs> And a row of squares can make really short work of your scraps. Oh my gosh, yes. And it's a great fun accent. It's a great fun way to accent that. Right. So here's our 12 inch cube. Shall we open it up real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's. Um, okay, so the thing we're gonna open first is the skinny one, cause yep. then you won't break a nail. What's inside, Erica? It's got our pattern booklet and it's got a, a mat. mat. Yep. All right, so we're gonna open this up because we're gonna actually pull out a couple of dies here. So let's talk about shape number one is that square. Right. Okay, so this makes a six inch square, right? Yep. Finished square, all right? So hold that for one okay. second. And remember, all the shapes in the cube are the same eight shapes, they're just right. different just sizes. Right, different sizes. And we're also gonna pull out shape number five. Number five, yeah. For a, in just a minute, we're gonna show you what to do with that. Yeah. So there's squares and half score triangles, all those basic shapes that you need. And I'm gonna grab pull that mat out. for me. Yeah. Okay. All right, so while we have just um, okay. the six inch cube out, or the six right. inch square, let's talk about a project that I made with my crazy quilt. Should we okay. talk about that? We can, we can do that. No, we've got backing samples first. Oh, let's do that. Let's do backing samples first. But we'll get to your project. I swear we won't. She can't <laughs> wait to show you this. Oh, well. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. So this is our faux braid quilt. And we showed okay. you this recently. It's really pretty project. I love it. But what we wanted to show you today is the back of it because all of the scraps were cut into squares and just added to extend the fabric on the backing. Isn't that fun? So just those extra squares, we just yep. added it to the back. This one is actually one of my favorite ideas. Okay, and then what else do you have for well, us, Erica? we talked about the strips. So here is our spools and kites. Yep, I'll hold and we this. We looked at this in one of last week's shows. Yes. But if we turn it around, we've taken one of those, we've taken that strip die, and this is, I think, the five inch, we've uh -huh. cut it, and four and a half inch finished, popped it in the back, and again, extended that fabric. Right. And 
used up some of our scraps. How fun is that? So fun. I just, I just think that that's such a great idea. If just take those scraps and use them up because yep. they're going to match, right? You're going to wonder how it is. That cute fabric is Robert Kaufman fabric. Of course it is. All right. So Joy showed us one of her UFOs that uses one of my favorite dyes. This is genius. I swear we're going to get that. It's okay. We got it. This is this is the. Um, she used Hattie's Choice, which I love, and our new Go Feathered Star. And this is so fun because she used, this is Christmas fabric, right. but it doesn't look like standard Christmas fabric, right? It doesn't. It's all in those fun blues and greens. So and it can be like New Year's. Like vintage ornaments on it. Right. She set them on point. Right. But in between. So here's our Hattie's Choice blocks that are going along with our Feather Star. I love it. So this is also a great way because then she only needed to make four of our Feather Star blocks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she made a variety of, of number of those Hattie's Choice blocks. And she set it on point. She used yep. the setting triangles. She yep. used various fabrics. It's all very scrappy and fun. But now she's stuck because she can't decide what to back it with. Right, right. So think about maybe taking, you have some blocks, mixing them with other blocks yes. that you might make. Because yep. we always talk about take, make a um, sample block. Right, yep. a test block. Yep. So when you have all those test blocks done, you can put them together oh, yeah. and add them to other blocks in your quilt. Right. See yeah. how they're going to look. Give them a give them a road trip. Yes. All right, Erica, it's your turn. Okay. You have a UFO. What are you sharing do. with us today? So this is my English paper piecing project, and I got so excited when we launched our English paper piecing yes. cube, and I fell in love. I've even got my pattern here because I had it all put together. So I have, this is the Hexagon Gardens throw quilt that I've started. Oh, yes, which is really okay. typical grandmother's and, flower garden kind of. Right, it's kind of a modern version of it. I've got this all mapped out, how I'm going to lay it out. So that was great. That's good. I've been making some rosettes, right? Look so at that. So that's good. Oh, and some more, and some and she's more. she's hand-stitching those. I'm, I'm, I'm hand-stitching those together. Here's one of my little expanded ones. And I've got some that I've basted. Yes. And I've got a whole lot that I've cut because it was so quick and easy to cut. And that's where I stopped. Yes. So, because you put it away. Because I put it away and I didn't see it. So I've got I've got more fabric. Now, why didn't I just cut the whole thing, Pam? Right. Because it's going like to cut them. so fabric. It cuts fast. so fast. And then here's my little stitching bag. And I've got my, my little clips. I've got my glue stick. And we're going to talk a little bit about the English paper piecing in just a minute. Yeah. But let's show you how it works. Yep, so let's open it up. So this is one of our cubes that is a standalone cube because not only does it cut the fabric, it cuts the paper as yes. well. So we're gonna pull these two out because these are the shapes that Erica's making. So it has hexagons and half hexagons. hexagons. It has diamonds, diamonds and stars. Let's pull yes. them out and show you. And then it has an equilateral triangle. Yeah. And that. they're all one inch finish sides, so they're all gonna play well together. Now all I'm using is the the hexagon, and it's like I said, it's that I'm trying to do a bright modern version of a grandmother's flower garden. Right, which is a traditional pattern. which I started with with great intent of enthusiasm. finishing. Enthusiasm. And great enthusiasm. And I still love it. It's, it's not right. that I fell out of love with it, it's just that I need to get it done. All right. So, so again, this English paper piecing cube is part of our promo today. Yep. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this one and this one. Okay. Because uh, we're gonna use our Go Big. So the, one, the way you can tell the difference is this is for the fabric and the little holes is for the paper. Right. And I'm gonna tell you, we only cut, you can always cut six layers of cotton, um, but I'm only gonna cut two layers of cardstock. Yep, yep, right? me too. Okay. So we're gonna lay our cardstock on. And by the way, I'm totally taking these extra pieces after we're done. Oh, that's why she did them in fabric we wanted, yeah. okay. So you always wanna have that lengthwise grain nice and tight. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And these are just charm squares. This is a great yeah. way if you've been if you've got charm squares left over oh, from a project, yes. this is a great thing to do with them. If you've got scraps left over from projects, this is a great you can make use of really small scraps this way. Yes. And we talked about that because it makes tiny little ones. Our four inch cube, another way to yes. use those tiny scraps, which is all part of our sale today. And see, get the go big. You can cut two dies at once. And it's such a great price. This is so slick and easy. Okay, so we're gonna give it love so here's the paper right that we cut right so the holes are there the holes are there I'll explain that in just a second yep and we're gonna cut the fabric there we go all right Erica you want to show everybody so how to lay one out English paper piecing you're gonna baste your fabric around your little template here so what we're gonna do is lay that out and there's a couple different ways you can either use a little fabric glue stick and run that around and just baste it around. Or you can, which is what I've done with some, I'll grab a finished one. Or you can baste it just by hand yes. as well, which is what I used to do until I learned, found a really good fabric glue stick. Yes. And then once those are all basted together, so where's my basted ones? Here's my basted ones. And you can see I mean, these have just been sitting in my bag for longer than I want to admit, yes. and they're still nicely glued together. And they're, you can just sit, and it's super easy to do. Mm -hmm. And then I have all of my cut pieces, get them all basted, then you hand sew them together. Right. And then you go back in and make use of that hole to pop the cardstock out, because I don't right. want anybody thinking we're gonna leave that in. But you wanna wait until you've got the piece all the way all the way done, and then that's gonna pop right out. Right, so you can reuse the papers a yeah. few times. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's just great. Because you're not gonna sew through the paper. You're gonna just catch your edge of your fabric. And we have some really great videos on how to do we English do. paper piecing. We made a whole series of we them did. with all the different shapes. So if you're thinking the new year you wanna try something new and you've never done English paper piecing, we have a cube for we that. too. It's really fun, and I'm going to get mine out and, and work on it in the new yes, year. Yes, and I feel like this is something you should just always just leave by your TV. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Because when it's stuck away in my sewing room, that's how it gets forgotten. Yes, it does. All right, so our good friends at Shannon Fabrics, look at this. I feel like such oh my gosh. Santa right here. Whew. Whew. Oh, here's one on the bottom, too. Yes. you got to be able oh. to see. Our good friends at Shannon Fabrics are helping this make event, this event out of this world, by providing with four lovely selections of fabrics to give away. And these are huge. These are yardage, so they'd be great right. for the back of this the is, fabric. This is this is basically four backings right yes. here. All right. So the first winner of Shannon Fabrics is selection is Christina or Christine H from Mount Vernon, Indiana. Congratulations. The second and the, and the second winner of a selection is Michael S from Kingston, Washington. Okay, I'm just sitting here and petting them. This is I know all, it's so soft. They're so soft. Um, the third winner of a Shannon Fabric Fabric selection is Charlotte M from Sugarland, Texas, and our final winner of a selection of fabric destined to be the backing of your favorite quilt is from Roll Please. Carol S. from Camarillo, California. Congratulations, Congratulations to all of our winners. I've been to Camarillo. I have as well. All right, we're going to move this. And all right, thank you to Shannon Fabrics for sponsoring today's show. Our quilters are going to love using your cuddle to create and finish their quilts. I, I think that's a great price. It is. Quilters, don't forget about our special today. Use the promo code EXTRA30 to get an additional 30% off your order. This code will save you up to 45% on dies and up to 55% on cutters. Some exclusions apply. Check the website for details. That's right. And if you receive, you will receive free standard shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. No price minimum or code needed at checkout. I know. Happy New Year to us. That's right. All right, let's look at some tips to help you cross the finish line with those UFOs. Now, first off, like we just mentioned, keep that project in front of you. It's really easy to avoid working on something if you tuck it away in a tote right. or a closet or a bag or a box or any of those things. And I think that for sure is what happened with my English paper piecing. It was in my kind of travel sewing bag. Right. 
and it just got kind of buried. So what yeah. I need to do is pull it out, keep it in the living room so that I can work on it when I watch a movie. There you go, that's a great idea. And as I told you earlier, I run out of steam when it comes to binding. And Erica gave this great tip. She told me to cut my binding when I'm already cutting fabric for my quilt. Yep. My cutter, the dies, and fabrics are all out, so why not get the binding done at the same time? I think that's, that's right. brilliant. You know, I used to really struggle with putting together my binding strips, but now I put my dies to good use, and here is one of our absolute favorite tricks. So we are gonna grab a couple of those binding strips that yep. we cut earlier, Yep. and we are gonna show you how to miter your ends. Because quilters, if you're like me, I am a lazy quilter. Okay, we said it was a safe space, right? Yes. I'm a lazy quilter. So we know that, that quilters are gonna wanna put these ends together put it in the middle at a diagonal. So you're gonna wanna put, you the old fashioned way is you put your strips like this and then you draw a line and you sew it and then you turn it and you trim it and you press it and I'm too lazy for that. So then I would look at it and I would just kind of eyeball it. And yep. invariably what would happen is something that looked a little bit like this when I was done. And because you're a lazy show, you would not I would, And then that. I would have to undo it or I wouldn't and it would just be a problem. And so now I use my dies. So let's yes. show you how. Okay. So the key is we're gonna take our fabric and we want to flip it so, and this is hard because we didn't use right, uh, we right. used solid. Right. But. We're gonna put right sides up. So you wanna have all your right sides up. And the reason you're gonna know it works is because you have this little loop in it. You are gonna have a little loop. And you know what? It's all gonna be okay. Yeah. Don't worry, quilters. We're gonna have a loop and it's okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna get them all lined up together. Okay, we got them all lined up together. Yeah. And I'm gonna lay them along here. Right. And what you wanna do is make sure no. this, yes, you're right. No, I'm not. There you go. There we go. I'm gonna lay it along here. And because I, no, that's still wrong. This is right. I like this way better. Okay. I know, I know, I just like this. Okay. I feel more comfortable with this. That's fine. So it's gonna be along, right along that blade edge, right? right? Just right along it. If you had your salvage, you could go ahead and let this do the work and cut your salvage off but we're not gonna cover the whole thing with our mat because right. what would happen if we did that? It's just gonna cut we're it We're just straight. gonna chop it off. Right. But if all we cover is the angle and we make sure we leave this blade open, we're gonna create some magic. So Pam's yeah. gonna put it through the cutter. And this is gonna work on any half square triangle that is bigger than your strip. That's right. So we have a two and a half inch strip and we have from the um, 12 inch cube a three and a half inch half square triangle. So it's gonna look. It's gonna be fabulous. And don't worry about the tail, right? That's right, it's not gonna hurt a thing. So okay. now we take those out, and now we're gonna be able to line those up perfectly. Right. And we don't have to worry about drawing a line, and we don't have to worry about trimming, because we're gonna sew our perfect quarter inch seam allowance end to end, and when we open it up, it's gonna be perfect. We're not gonna have to trim anything, and we're gonna have perfect binding strips. And the reason it worked was we lined up our strip here, we covered the blade so that it cut down there, but and then it cut off, off the, the end. Yeah. Practice it once with something you don't love and you'll be good. And don't forget right. this video is gonna live on Facebook and YouTube so you can watch it again if you need to. And now, once your binding is cut and mitered, just sew it together, press it. Now this was also a really good yeah. tip you gave me, to just wind it up on an empty spool, mm -hmm. right? And hold on to it. It's like your promise that you're gonna get it done. Yep. Just throw it in with all your other yep. things that you Keep have. Keep it with your project, you're yep. gonna be ready to go. All right, so should, before we go to what's gonna happen next, can we, let's talk let's about Let's talk this. about your crazy quilt. Okay, because <laughs> we were talking about the 12 inch cube. Yep. And this is great because it has a six, inch finished square in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is um, a crazy quilt that I made out of our Go crazy quilt version. Yes. So the smaller version, right? So um, it was perfect for layer cakes. Yes, it is. And I had a whole bunch of layer cake grunge. Moda, thank you for making grunge, okay? And it was super fast and easy to do. And let me just give you a tip. Okay, so when it cuts all the pieces, mm -hmm. like these two pieces are gonna get sewn together and these two pieces and these two pieces and these two pieces. So that's exactly how I did it. Yep. I cut all the pieces yep. and then I sewed these two shapes together and these two shapes and these two shapes and so forth. 
and then I press my seams open. So the problem was, okay, this is my, it's a safe space. It says, I, this is make 21 pieces and okay. I need 22. But I need one shape to finish the block. So I have it because all pinned Pearl together. Because stole it from you. Uh, yeah, because you know how that happens, right? So believe it or not, I had a little more grunge. <laughs> um, so I found some, and that's what I need to do. But Erica, this to me was like too small. But we talked about maybe mixing it with this. Yes. Right? So we could do sashing, we could do cornerstones, but why not use that finishes at six, Right. cut, get the big square that's gonna finish at six. Just cut solids of and, it. And alternate them. Yeah. Or you could do the same thing with the six inch finished half square or quarter square that comes right. in there. You're gonna right. get a whole different design. Right. Now we're gonna take a look at the one behind us because that's kind of what we've done on that one. Yes. We'll look at it in the trunk. We'll look show. at it in the trunk show and we'll show you how we, that worked. Okay. Now here's another idea. Our friends at APQ are doing their part to help all of us finish with their annual UFO challenge. This is so great. This is great. So if you go to their website, you can print out their challenge form. You're gonna fill out each line. There's 12 numbered lines. You fill out each one with a project and your current status of the project. So like Pam could have, you know, finished. Needs binding. Needs binding, you know, hand finished binding. Right. Or, or needs blocks. Needs blocks or whatever. Okay. Then, then each month, APQ is going to announce a number. So they're going to randomly pick one through 12. And then you work on that line's yep. project for the entire month and see how much progress you can make. So like if uh, item number six was I needed to finish binding, then the whole month of January, that's what I would that's work That's what on. you do. And it's a great way to stay motivated and finish up some of your projects. Yep. And quilters, if you're using AccuQuilt projects, products we want you to share them with us on our facebook page yes. and say hey here's one of my ufos of the arkansas traveler or whatever i need right to do. so you can tag both apq yep. challenge and us yep. on that so what about quilting do you stall out when it comes to doing the quilting i know sometimes that i do well one way is to take your quilt to a long armor yes. or your local quilt store to have it quilted after all the one and only Miss Eleanor Burns says she finishes her quilts by writing a check. She does. And if you're quilting it yourself, maybe try a new technique or design. There's always stitch in the ditch where you yep. sew along the stitching lines, or maybe you want to change it up. But I do love straight line quilting now. Yes. Where you're just going down and, and doing straight yep. line quilting. Um, you can do it on your domestic machine. Mm -hmm. You don't have mm -hmm. to have a special machine. I do for all it. the time. Yep. Now, at one point, I thought I would never get the hang of free motion quilting. I love the look at it. I like the concept, but I kept practicing, and I watch YouTube videos, right. and now I love it. So I also like to do shadow quilting. So for this, I do like straight line, but I'll outline a shape, right. just like maybe an eighth or a quarter inch outside of the stitching line. Kind of a variation right. on a stitch in the ditch. Pam's got another fun idea for you. I do. Okay, quilters, if you have an embroidery machine, use our free downloadable embroidery designs as quilting. So for example, if you're doing, uh, you have Northwoods Medley. Yes. You could take the bear and you could use the bear as actual quilting on your project. Isn't that great? I just think that's great because they're free downloadable and you can choose your three stitches. Now we know you so probably fun. have your own tips for finishing, finishing up UFOs, so let's see what else we have. That's right. Now one way to make sure you don't let a project fall into that UFO status is to make sure you love it before you even get started. So with your free design tool, it's called Go Quilt, you can upload pictures of your fabric into the pattern to see what your project is gonna look like before you make your first cut. Now, if you're still unsure, you can also use that. There are so many fabric collections that are in there already. There's like 300. Yes, yeah, so many fabric collections from our fabric partners, or there's also solid colors that you can use to right. choose. And those have all been added to Go Quilt. As, so here's a deeper look on how to get started doing that with Go Quilt.
fantastic. And we were dancing. Yeah, we were dancing. Quilters, don't forget about the special offer we have for you today. Until midnight tonight, you'll get 30% off your order when you use the code EXTRA30. This code will save you up to 45% on dies and 55% on cutters. Some exclusion supply? Check the website for details. So today we've already talked about strip dies and yes. cubes. Um, setting some of those triangles. Setting triangles. A lot of our bobs mm -hmm. are included in that. But that's not all. If you live in the contiguous U.S., you will get free standard shipping when you place your order. No price minimum or code needed at checkout. That's right. So one reason a project sometimes becomes a UFO is that we just don't like it anymore. Yes. Maybe you've redecorated. Maybe it was supposed to go in your living room. You've redecorated in different colors and it just doesn't work anymore. Or maybe that baby you started for is now graduating high school and it isn't appropriate anymore. There you go. Whatever the reason, you can put that quilt to good use in our 2022 Pay It Forward campaign. AccuQuilt has teamed up with Moda Fabrics. They're not just for grunge. And has pledged it to pay it forward with a quilt a week each week of the new year. That's I right. It's fabulous. fantastic. We want to join in on the fun of giving. So for every quilt that you donate and tell us about, you're going to be entered into a drawing. Now the prizes will be amazing. So cool. And the grand prize, it's valued at over $3,000. Yes, $3,000 and includes a baby lock sewing machine. Huge thank you to Baby Lock for being such a great sponsor. I love it. I love all the things about that. Yes. Baby Lock, Moda, yep. prizes. Be sure and follow our blog for more details on our Giving Back campaign and how you can participate. All right, quilters, let's look at some quilts. All right, good idea. Okay, so first up, here we go. We were we talking go. about the Arkansas Traveler, so let's take I'll a look this one. at some of them. This is the Guiding Star Throw Quilt by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts, and she's used Northcott Fabrics. And here we go, we've got Arkansas Traveler, but instead of doing it like Pam, we've really focused on the diamonds here. Right. The background is sinking into the back. Right. And we've set them on point. With, with those setting, setting triangles. triangles. Ah, super it's just fun. Stunning. This one is also the Arkansas Traveler, but a whole nother look because this is called String of Rubies Wall Hanging. It's by Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She's used Island Batik's fabrics. And again, we're just focusing on the red. Right. And she's just pulled it out. But this is straightforward Arkansas Traveler blocks. Yeah, and just stunning. It's actually one of my favorite mm -hmm. versions. And then the red binding. Oh, yes. Did, did I tell you in the new year all my bindings are going to be striped? Yes, you did. All right. I don't know that I'm going to manage that. Wow. All right. So this one is the Go Fractured Feather Table Runner Pattern. This is by Jeannie LeBron. She's our friend here in Omaha. And I love this. She's used the cubes. Right. One focal block out of the feathered star. Right. Strip dies for borders and binding. Right, and I feel like sometimes too, when you make that test block, you're thinking, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Add some cube shapes, because they're all in sale, and make a fun table runner. Yep, and she's done some shadow quilting. So right here, this is what I was talking about with that shadow quilting. She's gone a quarter inch away from this star shape to really f kind of pull it out. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is the Sparkling Star Throw Quilt. Okay, this is so this stunning. This is so stunning. This is by Marjorie Busby, a blue feather quilt studio. And she's and used- it's a blue feather it's a blue. Fe it's a feather star. She's used just one block in the center as a, as a medallion quilt. Strip dies, again, for borders. And then cubes for those other borders. Yes, and I love that cube border because it does look all fractured like 3D. It does. Yes, and in nice. this case, instead of an accent color, she's used the same binding color as she did the outer border. So it just kind of fades, it all runs together. It all yeah. fades together. All right, oh, this is Hattie's Choice Sparkle on Table Runner. And this is with Island Batik Fabrics. And this is one, I just love this. This is my- Erica I, does love Hattie's it's Choice. It's like my go-to for table runners. Yes. I, I, I had love so it because it looks making, like winter. I've made Christmas ones. I need to make some other seasons. Yes. It goes together really well. You just want to pay attention to which direction your kites are shaping. Because if you get the kite shape turned the other way, you're going to have issues. Yeah, your block isn't going to work. Yep. We have tons of videos, though, on our website. Yes. And on YouTube. Now, here's another look. This is the Hattie's Choice pillow. And we've used that. 
And then we've used our cube shapes to do the kite and the triangle here. So it's our companion angles because it has the kite. Yes. Look at me knowing Look some stuff knowing on a things. Monday on after a Monday Christmas. Monday after she's had a cold. I know. Oh, here is the morning star tricolor. Oh, quilt. look at how pretty this is. Isn't this pretty? So this is this is grunge. We've got just the three colors. It gives it such a different look than we saw with the scrappy. Right. She set lines. it on point, but she's used partial blocks then. Right. To set it on point, and then this this very narrow border with the matching binding. And it kind of creates that illusion of of circles, even though you're only ever sewing straight seams. Mm -hmm. Morning Star, one of my top five. Yes. Hands down. Oh, and this is one reason why. Yes. So here's another Morning Star. This is the Morning Star Contemporary Quilt Pattern. Yep. This one's by our own Miss Pam Heller, who's yep. holding her quilt proudly. I am. And I want to tell you, okay, first of all, it is cringe, um, but I learned if you just make one block at a time mm -hmm. and press your seams open, it goes together beautifully. It does. If you try to do two or three blocks at the same time, it's not gonna work. I got confused when I made mine and then I had to like take, take something out of the middle of the quilt after right. the top was finished. If you can avoid that, it's best to avoid that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we get to talk about the quilt behind us that I tried yes, to talk about right before. So this is the Go Teal Crazy quilt pattern. And you can see we've set those on point. Right. And we've used our cube shapes. Right, and so you and I had talked about maybe making mine and just using the six inch cube. Mm -hmm. But you could totally take those blocks that I've made right. and turn them on point and make this fun quilt. And again, it stretched it out, it made it bigger. Mm -hmm. And it needs five, 20 blocks and I already have 21 made. There you Look go. Look at that. So I can put the blocks that I haven't, that I don't go on the front on the back. But this is really yep. fun. I love this one because sometimes it's really hard to find um, patterns for masculine, for men. You know, yeah. like if I'm making a project for Ray, this one is perfect because it, it's that blue and the black. I just think it's beautiful. It is, it is. And you know how I feel about teal. Yeah, and I think, in, okay, so see, so here's the block. Yeah. Right? Oh, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> we always leave here wanting to sew. We do. Okay, so this is the Go Crazy Quilt uh, stained glass table runner pattern. And this is made by our good friend Joy. Yes, and so here are the small ones all put together. Right. So they just all go together so well. It makes a great table runner. Again, she's used her strip dies. This is going to be the one and a half. This right. is probably the three maybe. Yep. Look at you knowing some stuff. And again, a great way to just use up layer cakes and yardage. And something else that I just noticed, Joy did a scrappy binding on this. Okay, and you know I what? always do. I don't, but I love it when I see it done and then I forget about it. And I think this. when I'm planning my quilt, I always, you know, go, oh, I need an extra half a yard for the binding. But then use your scraps, do a scrappy binding. Okay, here's our go crazy throw quilt. Now this is made with the bigger version. This is our right. go big crazy quilt. Right. This block finishes at 12 inches. Right. And this block is on a go big die. So if your cutter has a handle instead of a power cord, you're gonna need to use the smaller right. one. This will only work in the go big, but hey, with today's promotion, right. extra 30, just get the go big. Get the go big. And just this one was great because you could use yardage and you could use like fat quarters. And yes, this would be great that for that. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause in, so not only are we talking about how to finish your UFOs, yeah. but maybe bust up your stash a little. Oh, absolutely. All right, quilters, in case you missed it, we have a special deal for you just for today. Yep. Use the promo code extra 30. E X T R A three zero uh, to get an additional 30% off your order, which will save you up to 45% on dies, 55% on cutters. Some exclusions apply. Check the website for detail. This promo is only good through midnight central time and it's almost one. That's right. Now, when you spend, here's a little bonus. When you spend $135 so or more, you're going to receive a free Go gingerbread cookie die. Okay, I just think that is so I just fun. think so, everybody needs a cookie. Everybody does. And there's more. Yes. If you're buying dies, cubes, accessories, okay, orders totaling $400 or more, you will receive a free Go Me fabric cutter. Da -da -da. 
Da, 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 da. Our gummy is the most lightweight cutter. It's compatible with 70% of our dies. No code is needed to redeem either of these details. Some exclusions apply. Check the website for details. And don't forget, you're going to receive free standard shipping when you place your order today if you live in the contiguous U.S. No price minimum, no code needed. You're going to get standard shipping free at checkout. Now, to get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture this QR image and go right to the site. And if you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a tab in your browser, go to the top, type in accuquill.com slash party, go to the site and place your order. So today is a really good day to maybe Santa didn't bring you everything under the That's tree. Right. And so now you're thinking, oh, I got the eight inch cube. Now I need the companions. I got setting triangles. Setting triangles. Maybe I got some of the cubes, but I need other cubes right. to go with it. So today's a really good stock up sale. Get you ready for the new year. That's right. You can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And remember, you can quilt now, pay later. Get financing today through AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, quilters, December to AccuQuilt is the month of our, I'll let, let you Let it sew, let it sew, let it sew, sweepstakes. By registering for at least one of our December events, you qualify for the chance to win $500 in AccuQuilt reward points. The grand prize winner will be announced at the December 30th show. That's this week. That is this week. <laughs> Is that amazing or what? It's amazing. By registering for December events, you've also entered for the chance to win a hundred dollar in AccuQuilt reward prize. So we're drawing winners for each show. So yeah. let's announce today's winner, Erica. All right, let's do it. Today's winner of one hundred dollars in AccuQuilt reward points is drum roll, please. Frank L. in Saginaw, Minnesota. Congratulations! I'm loving it. All right, closers, it's time for us to sign off. We hope you've enjoyed our tips and tricks for finishing your UFOs as we near the start of 2022. That's right. Now be sure to join us again tomorrow, Tuesday, December 28th, right here at 12 noon Central Time for a new event called Squared Away. We're going to be expanding on last week's show where we went over the basics of the cube system. Now we've got special guest Eleanor Burns coming back to join us yet again, so don't miss out. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have been waiting for our show to end before you buy, well, now is that time. Get everything you need before the items you want get sold out. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.